Hello and welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel. Just want to say a massive thank you to Callum Brown for taking the time to talk me through his stupidly light bike setup for hill climbing this year. Um, so now hill climbs are coming around again towards October. I thought it'd be time to sort of drop this video. I did it for me a few weeks ago. Thank you very much, Callum. Much appreciated. Uh, for those that don't know, Callum is an incredibly established bike rider and hill climber. He's won multiple hill climbs. He was second, I believe, at the National Hill Climb Champs in 2018, so he knows how to ride a bike up a hill fast. Uh, he's also quite public about his power numbers, and why wouldn't you be? Um, he's done over a 1,000 watts for a minute on multiple occasions, so uh, yeah, not bad at all. Um, I'll leave a link to his Instagram down below and also a link to all of his sponsors and things, so if you're interested in any of the kit that he's got, especially those wheels with string spokes and whatever else, please do check them out down below. But yeah, must thanks to Callum and uh, let's have a look at the bike. So Callum's just going to talk us through his bike spec setup because Callum's an actual hill climber. So we'll start with start with some scales. I oh, see your arm shaking. So that is <laughs> four point nine seven kilos with your computer oh. on as well. So that is and that, pedals, I suppose. And pedals. That's and a light. <laughs> oh, okay, and a light. Yeah, that strap looks heavy. So Callum, how do you build a bike that is still five kilos? Because that's ridiculous. Um, I'd say it takes a few years. Right. Yeah. <laughs> This has probably been a work in progress for mm -hmm. like three years. Okay. Is that yeah. using stuff that you find works and then stuff that you find doesn't work and changing it or just drilling, yeah, slowly it's... drilling holes, holes in things? Well, yeah, until things start to break. There's been iterations which have uh -huh. had things go wrong. So especially in 2018, the idea of the bike was to, I think it used to be 4.8. Right. But then for 2018, it went up by like 250 grams or mm -hmm. something but I made it like bomb proof mm -hmm. for whatever I can put through it. Okay. So what is the frame then? What, what is actually part of the bike? So this is a second hand Canyon Ultimate with a cracked seat tube, okay. which did have a carbon repair job done on it mm -hmm. um, before I bought it second hand for cheap off eBay. Yeah. Since then it creaks like mad, <laughs> but it's just never <laughs> got worse. So every year when I take it out of the garage, I just hope yeah. I'm going to get a full year out of it before it <laughs> completely cracking. Yeah. A nice thick seat clamp on it, yeah. I think, helps with that. Yeah. So the the forks on a Canyon Ultimate, yeah. they have their proprietary like Sierra tube, yeah. which is like one and one fourth or something That's instead of the normal one and one eight. Yeah. So um, guys at Cycles in Motion mm -hmm. bike shop in Sheffield made me like custom racers mm -hmm. for the head tube, and so we managed to fit some old uh, one inch diameter mm -hmm. forks in, which were a lot lighter than the Canyon ones. Yeah. So the frame and forks, one's custom flow, yeah. these cool guys, took all okay. the paint off. The forks and the frame were one kilo and one gram. <laughs> so to get over that, yeah. we drilled out two of the <laughs> bottle Excellent. cage bosses. Yeah. So the frame and forks are literally, yeah. no exaggeration, 999 grams. That's awesome. Which I just like. Yeah. Um, so other than that, just second-hand parts mm -hmm. off eBay, mm -hmm. brakes. These are just Chinese copy bullhorn corn bars, which haven't snapped yet. So they're like time trial base bars. Base bars, yeah. yeah. Um, and so they're all I need because I've got SRAM flips yeah. on it. Yeah. So my E-Tap rear. Yeah. Uh, this is a carbon Chinese copy. Yeah. Same with the seat post. Mm -hmm. So with the bars, seat posts, and seat, there's probably another hundred grams to save if mm -hmm. I went to like some crazy yeah. actual carbon specialist. But in terms of cost for yeah, gram, I'm not going to yeah, spend that money. Yeah, and is, uh, is that tape for grip? I take it. Yeah, well, oh, wow. it's probably seen a lot of sweat this tape. Yeah, yeah. I've had this. I'm not going to touch it. That's all right. I've had it on for about two years, and I think I've got about fifteen or twenty course records with this mm -hmm. tape. Okay. So I just leave Look, it on. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit gross. If it works. Don't break it. Um, cranks. I've had a few iterations. Yeah. I did have some. Um, SRAM Red Carbon, mm -hmm. like first generation 11 speed ones, mm -hmm. but running it one by, um, I didn't have a spacer on the other side of the bolt, so it was like, it's a two by crank, yeah. I had the inside ring on, and then just the bolt against the spider yeah. arm, which you wouldn't imagine would have any sort of fault to it. Mm -hmm. But with all the starts and stuff I did, I think that bolt just ended up wearing into the spider arm. Mm -hmm. So just one hill climb on Bank Road two years ago. Mm -hmm. I went three, two, one, and just snapped all the spiders <laughs> off my crank, which I thought was a snap chain, but looked yeah. down and all the spiders had like snapped yeah. off the crank. That is a good thing to say, they got too much power, just snapped a crank. Yeah. I thought if something had to go wrong, that's pretty <laughs> badass. So I wasn't that upset, yeah. but it was a bit annoying. So then uh, it's had a few iterations, mm -hmm. but I've got this on. Uh, with a steel ring now mm -hmm. and it's got the quark in it so it's like the lightest power meter yeah. and chain set combo that I could get 
uh, maybe one of the most expensive things on the bike. I think okay. it's like 400 quid. It's not yeah. not too, too, too bad. Mm -hmm. But these these wheels yeah. are probably the most special I've thing. I've been excited to look at these wheels because I can just I can just tell that, I don't know if anybody else can see, but those spokes are not <laughs> not standard. They're not aluminium or carbon. Do you want to talk us through what on earth is going off there? So <laughs> these are built by a guy that sponsors me, this amazing mad genius called Zed. Mm -hmm. That's his logo there. So what I'll do is I'll leave the link to this guy down below. If you are clutching at straws like I am for get, uh, weight loss gains, <laughs> look him up. So these these wheel sets, front and rear without the tubs on, are 705 grams <laughs> for the set, <laughs> right. which I think, I mean, they could be the lightest wheels in the world yeah. currently. Um, and certainly the lightest like production mm -hmm. set of stuff. Like mm -hmm. So not like a one-off sort of... Mm -hmm random like and aston martin slash mcfk yeah. build but like actual production i think they are the lightest wheels in the world yeah 705 grams on my scales wow and the spokes are made out of so they're they're by a company called bird yeah. and i think they're dyneema or something mm -hmm. but i mean just looks like string they're string yeah, yeah. all <laughs> intents and purposes they're string yeah wow tram red cassette yeah. it's a bit of a miracle of engineering yeah. i have one of those that means yeah. That's, the, that's the one thing that we've got that our bikes are similar, I think. You're halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's bigger though, I need more sprockets on the rear. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Wicked. That is awesome. Well, great riding today. Thank you. We were talking about your performance earlier, so we don't know how you've done yet because of course we don't have a leaderboard anymore, do we? But um, yeah. you happy with how you rode it, apart from the clipping in issue? Yeah, I, I didn't get clipped in straight away, which mm -hmm. is, it still seems daft after mm -hmm. to speak about that at Hill Climb. Mm -hmm. It's a weird, weird situation we're in at the moment. That's mm -hmm. what it is what it is. Um, I was maybe, three or four percent off my target power okay so i'll have to analyze the ride afterwards do you mind sharing your numbers or are you keeping uh, cloak no. and dagger you well I, I don't quite know my target i've done 600 for three minutes before like 605 i think right um just say that really casually 600 watts in three minutes yeah so i'm a decent i've actually lost quite a lot of weight at the moment which mm -hmm. i'm pleased about mm -hmm. so it's i didn't really see why i shouldn't be hitting that power again mm -hmm. today uh, so that's what I targeted. Mm -hmm. I'll need to see exactly what I got. I think I got like 580 or okay. something. Wow, maybe the awesome. funny start was something to do with that. It was yeah. certainly longer than three minutes by the end of it. Yeah. So maybe maybe I was on target and it mm -hmm. just ended up being longer than I thought. Okay. I don't know. Awesome. Inspirational. Are you going to ride in nationals? Oh God, yeah. Wicked. Yeah, Good I'm to there see. to win it. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Well, got all the best. Thank you very much for your time you. today. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Oh. Massive thanks to Callum Brown. I realised I didn't really fully introduce him. Callum is an absolutely legit hill climber. In 2018, he uh, won the silver medal at the National Hill Climb Championship. So he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing pedaling a bike uphill. So all the best to him for his quest this year for getting that, that, that title. Um, I loved his bike and I loved the, uh, more the fact that it's you know, built from eBay parts and, uh, and other than secondhand bits rather than just somebody's chucked a load of money at a top spec bike. It's really good to see eBay builds because as you guys know, I'm a big fan of a secondhand uh, part bike build. So yeah. Let me know down below, what do you think to that bike? Have you got something that's lighter? Are you building something that's going to be lighter for climbing? I'd certainly like a ride on it when I'm riding with my club mates. I need all the help I can get. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below. Hopefully get some more super bikes on the channel soon. I'll see you soon.